Hi, everybody. Welcome to Diverse Team Yachting on Yachting International Radio. I'm your host, Jimmy, and today we are joined by Ariana. Is that how you say your name? Ariana. Ariana. Yes. <laughs> it's Good. not that easy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Okay. So, Ariana, um, where are you from? Let's start there. I'm, I'm from Venezuela. Okay. Uh, Caracas, Venezuela, from the capital of the country. Okay. And are there any yachts in Venezuela? Is there any? Uh, we have uh, the art industry, but uh, you know, Venezuela is having a hard situation. So it's right now not that uh, a strong industry at the moment. Years ago, it was, but I have found a really a strong community of people working in that. It's really great. Oh, wow. Okay. And how did you find out about yachting? Well, I left my job uh, two years ago and I was in Europe and I was looking at jobs online and a company reached to me on LinkedIn and they told me they were looking for people to work on yachts. And they were looking girls and boys and I was okay maybe this is what I need right now in my life yeah. because I worked a lot of years on accounting and I was like no I don't want to know anymore about numbers yeah and everything was great until they asked me for a bathing pool photos Oh, wow. And first they asked me photos on dress and I was, okay, this is not that weird, you know, a normal dress. Okay. But then they told me, oh, we need now a bathing suit photos. And then they told me, and also we need that you do an interview uh, in bathing suit. And I was like, hmm? <laughs> it was so weird. Yeah, no, uh, no. no. Yeah, I was, I told my sister, and uh, my sister is older than me, and she was like, no, you're not going to do that. No. And she was like, a, mo a mommy. And no, that is too weird. She said, no, that is. And then I, I start to uh, research. In, uh, internet, Instagram, and I didn't see the girls in baby suit working. Uh, it was like, why they ask me? It was really, really, really weird. But yeah. um, I was a little disappointed when that happened, but it makes me also do more Reachers and look more on internet, Instagram. Exactly. I started to speak with girls in the industry. Of course, they told me, uh, forget about that, don't do that. No uh, job company asks for that kind of stuff. And I said, well, maybe from this bad situation, something good can happen. And I returned to Venezuela and I did the course, the training, and I started to fall in love more about the industry and it became a big dream. And when I, I saw all these people, Venezuelan people working uh, on yachts, I said, well, it's nice. Uh, of course, there are not too many, but there are some people. And it was really great, so I decided to go that way. I did all the courses, and now I'm just looking for <laughs> my big break. <laughs> yes. Okay. And going back to um, being asked 
for bikini photos? Who exactly asked you? Was it the captain? Well, who was, was the person really, that was asking? It was pretty weird, the situation. Uh, first, uh, a girl was the one who wrote to me. A girl, a girl person. wrote you. Uh, yeah, a girl. And she, and she told me another person of the company is going to speak to you on WhatsApp. Okay. And it was a boy. The company, it was supposed to be, oh, it is a company that is in Dubai. And the boy's name was Daniel. And I was like, then I thought it's really weird, this name of a person of Dubai. But okay. And then he told me, you need to speak with the uh, owner, one of the owners of the company. And they told me we have uh, several yachts. You are going to travel to okay. yeah. uh, Philippines, Europe. You know, they tell you everything you want to hear. Yeah. Uh, good money, good tips. And when I did the uh, Skype in the interview, so they made you do a Skype interview. Yes, but I was stressed. I told him. No, I'm not going to do it in bathing suit, in bikini. Okay. I'm going to be in dress. And he was like, oh, but that is going to maybe uh, ruin your chance. And then <laughs> it was really great. And when I did the interview, the other person, I can see the, I couldn't see the other person. He could see me, but I never saw his face. It was okay. really weird. And the interview was sometimes normal. Sometimes he told me really strange things. And then he asked me, well, we are going to show your body in bikini because we want to know that the girls are not afraid to show their bodies and their personalities because sometimes we have uh, parties, pool parties, and the girls, uh, they need to, you know, be in bikini and play with the guests. And I was like, oh, yeah, but you know, I don't feel that comfortable. I need to know more. And he was like, oh, well, it's a shame. And it was a really strange situation. Now that I think and that I read so much about other girls yes and i am happy that i didn't do it i don't know it was for me what so we're having an interview in no, 100 percent. and i mean any it, it's any not person, professional no it's not any person that's going to have an interview with you was a black screen already that should be a red flag any person that's asking you to put me yes. is a red flag um that's yes. it Scan. And um, when they try to, I don't know, here in Venezuela, we think that when everything sounds too good, something is weird. And they told me everything that, you know, a person that comes from our country, because we yeah, need to be honest, we are some countries that have strong situations and when you find this great job you feel oh i want this job and when they tell you you're gonna make good money you're gonna travel you're gonna have kids and he told me the girls here and marry with uh, the captains of the boats so they said the girls are married. sorry let me just stop you there so they said the girls are married with the captains of the boats Yes, the day and Mary and living in Canada. You know, it was so crazy. <laughs> and I was like, no, 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 this is weird. Something is not a hundred percent good in this situation. And yeah, then they stopped. Uh, the process 
and then they wrote to me again like oh and we really are interested in you can you please do the photos and the videos it was something really persistent and i don't know i it was like no sorry this is too strange i told them i spoke with several first uh, people in the industry and they told me this is not uh, good this is not acceptable and they were like oh i'm sorry please don't think bad about us it's just that we really need uh, girls who are secure about their body and i was like i am secure about my body but i'm not going to be on bikini <laughs> that is strange so i hope and uh, girls don't do that I yes, I hope so too. I hope that people follow their intuition. Anything of any of that sort is already a red flag. I think when I first started looking for work, um, I had a scammer try to scam me, but I mean, I picked it up just through the first message. I knew it was a scam. So yeah, you, know, you really need to communicate with different DRTs, ask people that are in the industry, the, the huge community on Instagram, ask, send screenshots and ask, does this look legit? To crew that's already like in the industry i think it's so so important because that is just it's disgusting and it's taking advantage and um, they know that people are vulnerable and they really want work and they'll do anything for work so this is why yes, yes. you have the guts to do this so you know as desperate as you are just rather yes. ask for help ask if it seems real and, and there is a lot of people that, in the industry that take the time to answer your, the, the questions you have and the doubts. Okay. So I think that the first step you need to do to enter to this industry is research, 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 research. Read about it because now I see so many posts about this subject yes. and other girls. And if you don't research, you are never going to know about this. Maybe you think it's normal because you are on the sea and you think, well, yes, maybe I need to be in bikini. Exactly. And no, it's yeah. not like that. No. And I'm happy I uh, didn't do it but it was also disappointment for me and i was a little angry they told me we are looking for latinas and now i think man these awful people are looking for girls to do i don't know why i don't know if there were only creeps on the internet or perhaps it is something way worse you know i don't know I don't know what about, but well, I mean, all we can do is just be cautious. I mean, there's tons of Facebook groups. People talk about this all the time. I think there's a Facebook group called Girls in Yachting. Like, girls, please ask. Screenshot the yes, offer and, and ask. Don't do anything it's that makes so it so common. So common. It's, it's, so, so common. it's so It's really crazy. Uh, when I read all these girls uh, and how all these pretty people <laughs> on the internet yeah. and yeah, it's crazy, it's crazy. It's a really dangerous war still for women. Yeah. And sure. sadly, but true. Yeah. Women are still uh, in danger, even for looking for a job really crazy oh, yeah. but you know all we can do is be cautious and protect ourselves as much as we can and not fall for the trap because that is not we can't accept that yes but and yeah. i wanted to get into um like where do you see yourself what are your future goals now i mean you're making this big transition from the finance corporate world 
into a yes. whole new different environment um, yes, well, yourself. I see myself uh, finding that first big opportunity and doing a great job. I think uh, I think I'm a person that if I'm honest, I really really love accounting. But it was my job. And if I have if I have a job, I'm going to do it excellent because it is my job. And I think that was the reason that I did great in that industry. Yeah. But it wasn't something that I really loved. And something that I see myself doing all my life. It wasn't like that. Yeah. And right now, uh, I see myself going deep. Uh, it's father, and I want to have the first opportunity. It's not easy. It's <laughs> crazy that in it's this not. time, find a first opportunity is so difficult. Yeah. And I just, I hope I find it and I know I'm going to do an amazing job because I always do that. <laughs> I have to be, I know that I, I am like that. I am a girl that I like, I like to do things well. Yeah. I like to give myself, I, I always do the best job that I can. I love to learn. It's crazy how many things I have learned this year, and yeah. it is amazing. I, I want to do this. Uh, this is what I want to do, and I want to do it for, for many years. Okay, so and do something like a chief script, for instance, in the future. Yeah, and then I would like to do, I, I have my life plan. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> then I I would like to do a training academy here in Venezuela because it really doesn't exist. You will find different different trainers, you know, but not for for this type of job. Not like in South Africa. I see that yeah. there is a big industry in there, and you find it. And the whole training here you don't find it so I would like to do to do that and the people know that we Venezuelans are amazing and we work hard and we are really smart people I also want to make the name of my country you know uh, know that people know about us yes i think that's a good idea because that also allows venezuelans to you know look into the yachting industry and then you know there's going to be more venezuelans in the yachting industry so once you have those, centers, yes. those training places people start to know what yachting is you know i wouldn't have known about yachting yes. if there was no training center in Cape Town. so yes and i think uh it would be great because I think the industry needs more diversity. Yeah. <laughs> I think we need more uh, wow. colors and shapes and, and cultures and yes and cultures. It, it's really funny because when I was in accounting, it is also not that often people sometimes i saw situations if the person wasn't that pretty they didn't want that person to work with clients they have to like in the back and now for outsourcing uh, we want someone that you know have the presence and i was like but we never see our clients <laughs> why do you need a pretty girl why do you need 
Uh, oh, so okay, so sorry. So they needed a pretty girl to deal with the client, even though you don't see the yes. client. They wanted a pretty yes, girl. Yes, it was really crazy, you know. Uh, my natural hair is curly. Yes. And in my first accounting field, they, uh, in my evaluation, one of the negative points, it was that I didn't strain my hair. So they wanted you to straighten your hair and they didn't want you yes, to have they, natural curly hair. No, they didn't want curly hair. That's and, interesting. Because yes. people don't realize that corporate offices are actually discriminate against people's hair all the time. <laughs> yes. It is like if you have curly hair, no, no. They want a straight hair. And I saw also discrimination about height. It is crazy. You may think that that is not possible, but uh, they want people that are a little tall. They don't want so small people. <laughs> it is crazy, but it happens. In, in but what war, does, sorry, but how, but like that's so confusing to me. Did they ever justify why they wanted so much, someone at a certain height? Because what does someone's height have to do with them dealing with finances? I don't know, it is crazy, but it was this uh, accounting field in particular. Uh, the, my second accounting field, they were really open. Uh, and I think I learned about diversity in that accounting field. Uh, my boss, he was a man, but he preferred to work with women. He was a guy, I, all my managers are, uh, are women. And I was like, yeah, it is true. And he was like, yeah, I, like, I love to work with women. And he was really respectful. It wasn't like a man, a strange man, a weird man. No, no, no. He was really respectful, and he said, "I prefer to work with women because women know more." <laughs> he always joke about it. Women I know what it. I'm thinking, and I don't need to tell a woman. Yes, he says, I don't need to tell a woman ten times the things. They know. They know what I mean, and they do it before. I say, and I saw uh, many shapes, many colors, uh, different heights. Uh, it was amazing. It was an amazing place to work, and different ages also. Uh, yes, I had in my staff uh, young people, you know, nice. And people of forty six. In the same stuff. And it was no problem. And it wasn't that I person of forty six being perfect because the age, because normally you want if the age uh, you need you want the person be perfect. No. Uh, I think everyone has well, it's something it, it to just do. shows that it just shows that diversity is important and it creates such an amazing um, culture, cultural like working environment when there's a group yes. of people that are different ages, different races, different heights, different shapes, different colored eyes. Yes. You know, different types of hair. Diversity is yes, so yes. beautiful when it's done right. That's for sure. Wow, that's amazing. Real diversity is that. Real diversity is not that you have one person different. Thank you. Oh, because <laughs> that is something that I, that's something that. I have watched so much the same person in the, the same photo of the same person 
in different pages. <laughs> and I'm like, there is no other person. <laughs> and it is okay, I'm not against that person, but it is like, it's the only person, the only photo, that is not diversity. Diversity is not that you put a photo and it's like, oh, wow, this is a photo of a person of dark skin, wow. It is amazing, no, diversity is that you put that photo and it's so common that people don't feel like it is something incredible exactly. that is happening. Exactly. For me, that is diversity. So uh, I hope it happens. Also, diversity is all cultures. It's exactly. not yes. why that. No, because no. life is not like that. No. I always say that it's different cultures. all different cultures, completely different cultures. Yes, and it is uh, different cultures, different age, uh, different shapes, because it is also really common to see the same type of body. And of course, you need, maybe the job requires some type of body, but you are not cloning people. You cannot have the same people. It, it, is, it is incredible. I see the photos and I am like, do these people look the same? <laughs> look, I mean, you it know. It is crazy. And <laughs> it is. It is. It is the reality. It, it is the reality. reality. And if you and think about I it, see. a lot of media, um, advertisements have always shown one type of person so marketing in general has yes. always been one type of person so i just think it's something that needs to change over time i think that marketing is changing and models are now becoming different types and sizes it's no longer just the little yes. Hedy Hedy's and kendall jenner's you know we've got ashley graham and people yes. and i think once people start to see that in magazines and in media and, and tv and books then you know maybe we won't see the same thing all the time <laughs> exactly and it and it is funny you see the faces also right now i don't know if saying this is correct, but it is not diversity when you want a black girl with the shapes of a white girl, you know, uh, the perfect nose, the perfect lips, uh, because it is not like that. There is different nose, different lips, different eyes, uh, and I hope yes, different hairs. So I hope uh, it truly. I hope there is a real cha uh, change, not marketing only, not trendy. You know, and it's a, it's a trend. So let's start to uh, put photos of someone different because we don't want to look like we don't have diversity. I hope that people it's actually real diversity. really yes and not only you post a photo, you also give the chance to a person. Because you can post a photo but I can go to your workplace and it is not like that. You know? And that's happening. It's something totally different. Yeah. And, and I hope if someone wants a change, I hope they want a real change, not yes. trendy. No, because right now it's a big subject. Yes, and something that really uh, made a difference that in one moment, uh, a photo doesn't make a big uh, noise because you are made, you are showing someone different. Uh, that 
everyone has the same chance. Because for me, that is diversity. You give all people the chance. And the ones that work hard, they are going to get it. Yes. But you are not already putting a barrier, like, no, I don't want you because you are not the type of body or color I'm looking for. No, I'm going to see all of you. I'm going to see all your qualities and I'm going to choose the best quality, not the best body. I hope one day that can happen and we see real diversity and real opportunity for all people in yeah. all the world. Because I think every culture has something to give, 100%. something amazing. That is very yeah. 100%. We can learn so much from each other, so much. And it can, it can really yeah. help productivity in a workplace, like bringing in different forms of doing things and, you know, different cultures into one room can really add value to productivity. And I think that needs yeah. to be realized. And different ideas, different ways to see life. And it's because, um, yes, and everyone can learn from each other. In this time, and I have learned so much about people of other countries, and just on Instagram. <laughs> it's funny, right. but <laughs> yes, uh, right now I know that in South Africa there is a strong jazz industry. Before I didn't know, and now I know that there is people from every country who wants this job and there is people that is that want to help you but it is not only about some people the change needs to be big it yeah. needs to be in general and it needs to be in reality and reality is the job not instagram instagram you can post whatever you want you can I post agree. the photos you want I the agree. reality is the job, is the job, and the job is the one who needs to have diversity. Yeah. So, and not only the job, I think the whole world needs to learn to love people that are different. And, you know, this time you have seen so many crazy things that are uh, and it still happen. I think every day someone uh, is being discriminated. And, and that is something that really needs to change. Human needs to be more about love and I open arms. I agree. We I are agree. here for some sort. Yes, I think that um that yeah I'm I'm tired of seeing Instagram posts and no action. Like I think we've had enough of that. It's very easy to post a picture and type a few words yeah. and save your face. But are you gonna stand up for me? Are you going to fight for me when it comes to work? Um, would you be okay with working with me? You know, that is really standing for diversity. So I agree. A lot of people take the easy route and they and yeah. you see it all the time. I mean, my in the whole Instagram timeline is like that. It's hilarious. But, um, you know, let's see. I think, I think, I think the more that we have this conversation, the more that people are willing to learn. Um, some will resist and some will join us. <laughs> I think uh, you, I think it, it, it can happen, but it will take uh, a hard work and to open people's minds. It's not easy to sometimes it is not 
easy first to accept that you don't have diversity in your workplace. I agree. Because maybe you think, oh, if I accept that, I'm going to be, you know, people is going to think that. But I don't think that, that right now, it's not the moment to to attack other people. No. You know? I'm not going to attack you because you don't have diversity. Yeah. I'm going to show you and we are going to learn together about diversity. Yeah. Because I can understand when someone feels afraid because in the past he, uh, he didn't exist uh, diversity in his workplace or her workplace. And I, it is not a good way to attack a person no. and say, no. no, you you are racist, you are you discriminate because you are not going to find uh, the result you want. No. I think it's a moment to change. And when the change comes from peaceful uh, situation, they tend to stay more than if you I agree. create a change about of violence. So it is for me it's about to teach and learn. And sometimes you are going to be the teacher, sometimes you are going to be the student. And it is also about love. Just love everyone. I've always believed in God. I like I told you. Yeah, like I told you, I give uh, opportunity. I gave opportunities, and uh, when I was in the house, and for me, it was so amazing when I see young people with no experience uh, escalate and learning and doing things by themselves and I think hey they they have this because I help them and that is also a great feeling when you help when you teach and when you learn when you understand and when you learn and when you understand that everyone starts from zero no one, you know, says, okay, I want to be a doctor, and now I'm a doctor, and I have <laughs> 10 years of experience, stuff like that. Uh, you need a beginning, and in every beginning, you need someone to teach the path. And it is really great when you are that someone. It's a really great experience. You learn something about yourself also when you are helping other people when you are teaching other people you you learn so much and it is amazing so uh, wow so many change the world needs right now but let's just start with that <laughs> that is what we need right now yes you said we should start with yate can you hear me i can hear you now yeah, we need, we need to start the change right now in Jatin. Yes. Yes. In Jatin. Yeah. I think it we can need, happen. We uh, need more I diversity. A hundred percent. I think there definitely needs to be way more. Um, but I think it's happening. I definitely think it's happening. I think more and more people from different countries and different cultures are finding out about yachting. And it's just about you know, making people from these countries and different cultural backgrounds feel comfortable knowing that, you know, you do belong here. Like, you know, if you really want a career here, you do belong. And I think that yeah. it's happening. I think um, that there's great people in the industry. There really is that love diversity. And, you know, there's a lot of love. There's, you know, some people that are different, but, you know, we just stick to the ones that love us, right? 
Yes, yes, of course. It, it, is, it is like that. You are going to always find the two types of people. Some ones are going to receive and some ones are going to be our own. So, yeah, we need to be with the our own. <laughs> Uh, Ariana, so, yes. very nice. It, it, I hope it happened. Yes, me too. It was amazing. Thank you so much for the invitation. Thank you so much for coming. I think it's a great conversation, and I'm really glad that you know you're coming from Venezuela and that you can watch us going for it, completely changing careers, which is amazing. And I'm, you know, I think that you can really bring that kindness into this industry. Yeah. You know, I think it's going to be really, really great, and hopefully, I meet you somewhere in the world. You never know. <laughs> yes, I hope one day we see us and we can celebrate. <laughs> yes, of course. Or All right. Well, thank you, everyone, for yes. watching Diversity in Yachting. Ariana, thank you so much for coming on. I will see you next week.